Watch friends, how's it going? Um, look, got a very special video coming up today. Um, in my last video, I said I'd have a surprise for you guys, and this week I got this. It's the Harrods Tudor Black Bay Special Edition. So yeah, um, what's going to follow is literally. Um, as to how this came to be and yeah how do I feel about the watch and I'll give you a few bit more of an in-depth look at it let's go a story about how I got this watch started back in September when I as you know um, bought my Rolex from Harrods so around that time I already had known about um, the Harrods um, to the Black Bay Special Edition and you know, obviously I was interested, but of course I was never going to um, buy a Rolex and a Harrods at the same time. I don't have that kind of money. But, I, you know, I'd heard about it and since I was there, I thought, okay, um, there's a year waiting list. I'm going to put my details down in a waiting list and see if I'm able to get one in, say, like a year's time. They called me uh, early last week and they said it was ready for delivery. So I'm like, oh my God, how this happened already? I've heard so much about the watch, I've read so much about it, and it really did seem like, you know, even if it's not gonna be a massive investment piece, it's a nice piece to add to the collection, it being a special edition, not by a limited run, but by limited distribution, I guess gives it that slight added appeal the guys at the store, they sort of told me that it's looking at about 5,000 units currently, but there is no confirmation as to how long this would carry on for, whether they've got up to six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand 10,000 units. Um, what is, you know, true is that uh, I've got one now. Um, I've got one numbers just under 4,000. Yeah, I mean... It, yeah, it was it was just one of these things that happened. Hadn't really planned for it, but opportunity came. I thought, well, look, it'd be great for the channel as well. I do like the watch. Let's give it a go. Um, so yeah, I'm going to talk a bit more about my experience now. First thing I want you to see is these are my thoughts coming up about how I felt just before going into shop to pick up my uh, watch. I'm outside that famous department store called. Yes, you've guessed it, Harrods. And I'm here today to pick up my Harrods Special Edition Tudor Black Bay. Now, as you know, I recently bought, well, not recently, I bought a Submariner from here. Uh, and of course, you know, I've been trying to think about what my next watch would be, what timepiece I would next add to my collection, but in terms of budget and stuff, uh, the Harrod Special Edition Tudor seemed like a good idea. Well, I got the call. Now, I didn't want to buy a watch like this so soon, but look, I've got the call. I'm going to ask him a few questions when I get in. I am slightly... The thing about this watch, well, it's a limited edition, but it's not a limited production uh, line. It's a limited distribution line. So, to be honest with you, I don't quite know how long they do the watch for um, in terms of, oh, okay, is it gonna be a special edition that has limited numbers? I don't know, at the moment, they're looking at about 5,000 pieces according to the latest information I have. But um, could that be 10,000, 20,000? Nobody knows when Tudor will, you know, pull the plug in that particular production line or how to end the deal. Now, the width of this watch is 41 millimeters, and as you can see, it just, it just fits really nicely in the wrist. It, there's just no problem with it. When you compare it like for like with the Rolex of Mariner, um, you do notice that it's got a bit more heft to it, uh, and it's maybe got a bit more presence in terms of you know it, its size but 
that's taking nothing away from the Rolex, of course, which is, you know, perfection. It it just fits so nicely. And yeah, I'm really, really, really impressed with it. Really happy and really enjoying um, owning it. As you can see, it looks really nice on. Um, to be honest, really pleased with the purchase. Uh, let me, um, I don't know, get to work with my review video, which I plan to do with that. And hopefully I can show you a bit more of the watch uh, in more detail and tell you a bit more about the specifications, etc. But yeah, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It really looks apart. And if anyone's considering or, I mean, I mean, I'd say get yourself on that waiting list for the price point. I don't think, you know, you can really go wrong if you're looking for an entry level um, fine watch uh, that isn't too expensive, but B has something a little bit exclusive about it and C just looks fantastic. Anyway, that's the end of my video. Um, I hope, you, hope you've enjoyed. If you've enjoyed the video, please follow uh, my channel by subscribing, uh, leave a like. It's all really appreciated. Anyway, take care guys. See you soon.